this is the second and final part of the video how to copy content between portals in .NET Look. Let's grab the skin from the original site to the destination site. To make sure that we know which skin we have to bring over, let's go back to the original site and go to Site Settings just to have a look at which, which skin the site is using. So here's the name of the skin. Now I'm just going to go via FTP to the original site and grab this entire folder, both the the, the skin folder and the container folder. So let's go to the FTP. So here I am in the FTP, I'm in the portals default folder. Now I'm going to get the I'm gonna I'm gonna get the entire skins and container folder because I know that the skin folder is here. This is the skins and this is the container folder. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy both folders to my local system. Okay, so now I have the containers and the skins in my local system. I'm going to the folder via Windows Explorer. Here I have my containers and skins. So I'm going to get the skin folder, and this is the skin that I need. I'm going to copy from here and go to the default folder of my destination site again. Go to the skins folder and paste it right here. So the skins are copied over. Let's go to the containers. I'm going to get the container set that I want, which is this one, according to the site settings. And I'm going to the destination default folder, containers, and I'm going to paste it right here. OK, so now we have the skins and containers. Here's what I'm going to do next. Let's go to the site next. Let's go to the site. So here are the skins that are being used in the, the original site. Let's go to the destination site, admin, site settings, and I'm going to check appearance, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that they have the same options. Horizontal image, this is the first one. Line gray for the second one. Sonto image for the edit skin. And let's put it, let's select admin for the edit container. Okay, so now let's just click update under site settings. And here we have our new look. So it's getting there, it's getting close. Let's go back to the home. Again, this is the destination site. So we are getting close to the original one. Now, next problem that we have is, uh, next problem is about the image. The images are not showing here. They show as, as a broken link. So this is easy. Uh, if we check, let's say that if we check under welcome, edit content, See, the problem is that the path in the original site for the images, they are under portal number 3, and in the destination, they should be under portal 0. So, I can I could put just a 0 here, and just to prove my point, I'll put a 0, click on save, and if I click... If I click to refresh, well, I'm clicking the wrong place. Of course, I'm clicking the wrong place there. So let's select refresh here in the content that I have changed, that I have fixed. You know, this thing is making me a liar, so I don't like to become a liar. So anyway, let's go back to the content again. I think I know what is happening. See the slash? It's going to the root of the of the site, and the root is not where the images are. The images are under the site is running from a subfolder so if i put the subfolder right here now we should have the image there okay thank god okay but here's the problem we do, can you imagine if if we have uh i don't know 10 20 pages are we supposed to do that for each and every image i mean it's it's a real pain i mean we we, we are making this 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 whole process here to make to make things easier to transfer the content over so again if we face a problem like that 
I have a little script for you that you can run to replace an old path with a new one that we want to use here. And I will post the, the script in the video, video blog page for this video. Okay, now let's grab the script. I'll explain a little bit about the script and I'll make it available so you can run. But once we run the script, it will change the path for each and every image in the site and all the images will be back automatically. So I just went to my tips and tricks folder to get this script and I'm going to show you what you have to do to change the path for those images that we got a, we got a problem. See, uh, this, this script, what it does, it search for a node's old uh, string, it replaces for by, by a new string and the old one is, of course, the old path. Let's grab an example from here. Where is the second image? Okay, so here's an old path. Go back to the script. So this is what the script has to find. And this is what the script will have to replace. To be to replace that by. Okay, so the script will find this and replace by this because this is a new correct path under the uh, destination site. I'm gonna just select this whole thing, copy, go to this destination site, go under SQL, paste my SQL there, check run a script, click execute. I think I have to set up a comedy show because each and everything that I try to do just gives me another error. Okay, this must be something related to a new this new. Uh, DNN5 uh, or something like that because this used to be the correct field in the database. In any way, I just went to another tab. I just see that the, the field name has changed, I guess, from desk, desktop HTML to content. So I need to make a, a quick adjustment to my script. I'm going to pause this and get back to you in a second. Okay, so I did a quick adjustment to the script. I just replaced the old field by the new one. Hopefully, this is the only thing that I needed to do, let's go back to the destination sites, let's delete this and run the, the, the script again. So it did work this time. Let's have a look at the home page to see how our images are coming along. Perfect. So we have the image back. Now, again, the only thing that is still missing is the logo, which I think the logo has also uh, also came within the template. So let's go to admin site settings so we can set the logo. Appearance, logo, I think the name of the logo. Okay, so here's the new the logo from the original site. And let's click update. Let's go back to the home page. So there seems to be pretty much okay right now. Let's log off from both sides and have a quick look. So here's the new site, the destination. Here's the original. They look pretty much the same. So we have accomplished our goal, which was to copy the content from the original to the destination site. But 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 I, again, uh, this will be most likely more useful if you are moving content from uh, to to a site that has multiple portals, and you and you don't want to, of course, move the entire site. You just want to move the content to uh, one of the new portals of your existing site. But again, it's not that simple. It's not that straightforward. Sometimes you have to run some some um, some scripts. To make sure that the image path will not get screwed up, uh, you also need to make sure that you bring the skin that was used in the original site over to the new site. But that was basically it. We accomplished our task. Thank you very much. Bye.